Hi, this is Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing a reading tonight for our Virgos for the month of July 2016. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to do sort of your general aspects for the month of July. We will also do your um, financial and career aspects. We kind of do those combined together in one, um, one card series, and then we also will do the healing uh, or health aspects, and then lastly, relationships. And this month, the angels have guided me that the relationship information coming through isn't just about romantic relationships. Uh, this has to do with family relationships and friend relationships as well. So uh, just letting you, kind of giving you a heads up about that. And as you know, if you've watched my readings before, uh, these are... Angel cards, of course, all the all the decks that I use are angel cards, and it's all very gentle guidance. I am I have a spiritual team that I work with, um, my own angels and guides, and then I look, work very closely with the archangels. And there's about 15 archangels that you know come in and out of the readings as um, as we go forward. And I'm just wanting wanting to mention that Michael is here, Archangel Michael is here, and I I can tell that because I feel feel sort of the heat um, from him. And it's not the lights, because I literally just turned them on. This is the first reading I've done in this series. So uh, just to let you know that uh, Michael is here with us this evening. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first card we have is the Four of Fire. And the Fire cards are all about action and passion. And so also when I think of fire in terms of feng shui, that element uh, represents, well, a number of different things, but it, um, the area of the bagua, which is our mental map of the space, is the fame area. So kind of your fame and reputation, what you're known for, that type of thing. And what's coming up around this is that um, I really feel like you're surrounded by a good group of um, friends or you have uh, s good support in your life and in particular your um, family, um, your home life, your family life uh, feels like it's very well supported. The other thing that's coming through around this is um, there was some project that was very very close to your heart uh, that you either have finished just recently or you're wrapping it up. And so this could be, you know, it could be a book, it could be a, a charitable project that you were working on, could be any number of things. And I'm just showing that that was very successful. Um, if it's a book and it hasn't been, hasn't been actually published yet, uh, well, then it wouldn't be quite complete. But it looks like it's going to be successful, uh, just so you know that. And the um, the four, so I, I like to kind of look and and compare. So those of you that haven't watched a reading from me before, I'm a feng shui expert as well. And so oftentimes I get the guidance coming through that I need to talk about some things around feng, sh around feng shui. And so just, and they're guiding me now to let you know kind of what feng shui is. So feng shui is actually, it's all about energy. So everything is energy. This card is energy, these cards are energy the candle, all of these things are carry an energy to them. And feng shui is really about creating uh, that energetic support for you within your home and the support for you to draw in the things that you want in your life. And so it's really important that you also use your home as well as your, you know, your mindset to shift things as well as taking action. Uh, and of course, calling uh, calling upon the the heaven and your spirit team as well. So there's many different things that kind of factor into what happens for you. And the home or your office is one of those things that helps support you. And so it's really really important. And the four, what I'm getting around that, um, this is about family. So four, this is our bagua. And you can get one of these on my website if you go to findingyourfiji.com. Uh, just download your free gift, and that gives you this bagua as well as my nine best tips for attracting abundance. So that's always kind of a fun thing. And then um, the four in this case. So each one of these areas has a number. Uh, and so you can actually even add up the house numbers, you know, so in, for instance, if you have a home that's, the digits, just as an example, are one, two, three, um, that would be a six home, and six on here is about, um, 
career. So some of these I've memorized. Of course, eight. I have the wealth one. I, I know that. And health is nine. Uh, but six is career. But in any event, the four relates to family. And so that's just letting you know that you've got a good, solid family support there. And I feel like even just, you know, the home that you're in is a good home. Might need a, a few little tweaks here and there. But for the most part, you're in a space that that supports you um, or if you're not now you will be within the next six months if you're some of you I feel like are a little bit unsettled Virgos and so those of you that are going to be moving it it's a good it's a good move all right so then we have the awakening card which is Archangel Gabriel and I love Gabriel Gabriel is kind of our messenger angel and this is really this card is all about looking at things from a completely different perspective and that's why when you look at this card, she's upside down in the card, right? And that is about turning things, kind of turning your perspective upside down and looking at things from a completely new perspective. Um, and as you do this, it's really important that you are letting your true self shine through so that you're not pretending to be someone that you're not, that you're not, uh, uh, you know, trying to please other people, that type of thing. So really looking at things from a different perspective. And then she also wants to let you know that this sort of hanging upside down, you know, sometimes when you're hanging upside down, it feels like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not moving. Uh, and it's just temporary. So they want to just let you know that that's, that's sort of a temporary thing coming through. All right. And then we have the King of Air card. And the air cards are all about your head and your intellect, kind of that type of thing. And the air, um, this air card in particular is a duality card. So on the one hand, it's about a person. And on the other hand, it's about a circumstance or an experience, right, or an event. And the person, in this case, the king of air, is really someone that is Oh, they're very professional, so they might have a job where they, you know, wear a, a suit and tie to work, that type of thing. Um, very, very smart. Uh, also make good mediators, so they might be somebody that is um, just good at kind of bringing parties together when there's a disagreement. They're like able to see both sides, that type of thing. And they are just, the way that they're able to deliver news, and in particular, um, news that you maybe don't want to hear is very, well, diplomatic is what the word is here. I, I'm not really, nothing else is coming to me around that. But it's just the way that they do that is a way that people can understand it, if you will. And so what I'm getting around the King of Air is that this is someone that is going to help you sort of see the different sides of what's going on. And I feel like this relates to a relationship and hopefully we'll get a little bit more information as we move forward. But to help you see sort of both perspectives or both sides of things. And that can be part of what the awakening card is about too, is looking at things from someone else's perspective. Because that is oftentimes what needs to be done in order for you to sort of come to an agreement or at least, you know, be able to... Uh, have that compassion for the other person, that type of thing. And this King of Air card is really about speaking your mind. So it's really, really important that you actually use your voice. And so what happens for me sometimes as I'm doing readings, like I'll feel like a clogginess in my throat, that type of thing where I'm getting that you're not speaking up. And what I'm getting around this is that almost like you... Uh, Almost like you've been speaking up too much, if that makes sense. And so part of what this is about is really speaking your mind about the things that are important and letting go of the other stuff. And so that's kind of what I'm getting around that. And seeking, you know, getting some professional advice around what's going on for you is really, really helpful. And of course, I offer private readings, so that would be something that I could do for you. I also do private coaching, so there's a number of different things that I offer as far as helping you sort of navigate. And really a big part of what I do is help you, uh, well, get, gain guidance, of course, and connect with your intuition and teach you how to connect with your intuition, but then also helping you sort of uncover and uh, release those limiting beliefs that you might have. And this is really about having to balance sort of those um, mental and emotional um, aspects of what's going on. Okay, so let us move forward. All right, oops, they're wanting one more card for after from this deck, so I'm going to grab that. Okay, 
So this is going to be your career and your financial aspects, Virgos, for the month of July 2016. And this deck that I'm using, it's an Archangel Oracle deck, and I just really enjoy this deck. This is one of my favorites next to the Archangel, the Angel Tarot deck, and I just really, really do enjoy this deck. And lots of angels will typically come through as we're doing this. So we have... So this is related to your career and finances. And we have the victory card. This is Archangel Sandalphon. And this is really a great card, right? It is it is about a, a victory of some sort or another within your finances. And what I'm just getting is that you've been praying, you've been reaching out, you've been asking for help, and they're wanting to let you know that your prayers are answered. And so what I feel like this relates to is it's almost like a... Um, Oh, I want a little bit more guidance from them around this. It is something that you've been working on for a while. So it's almost like there were a number of different pieces to a puzzle to sort of put together. And you finally got got things done. And it, you know, it it allows you to move forward, if that makes sense. So it might even be like a budget. It could be, you know, something where you were putting together a deal that had a lot of different aspects to it. And now all those different little aspects are coming together. All the parties are in agreement now. And so that is going to result in a victory or success for you with some kind of um, payment is what I'm getting around that. And so they do want to encourage you to celebrate that. So when that comes through, rather than just like, oh, moving on to the next thing, right? When you have something good that happens, it's important to have that gratitude and to celebrate what's happening, right? Okay. And then we have the clairvoyance card. This is Archangel Raziel. And Raziel is wanting to let you know that you are getting guidance. We all are, right? We have this uh, our team of spiritual guides and angels that help us. Oftentimes we have people that are loved ones that have passed over that help us as well, Virgos. And this is really about, um, you know, and of course the clairvoyance is about seeing. And so Archangel Raziel wants to sort of open your eyes so that you can see all the love and the guidance that's coming in for you. And oftentimes this means that you'll actually get signs and symbols. It might be numbers, you know, like 111, 222, 444, that type of thing. Pay attention to those signs and symbols. And there is a number of different little books that will tell you the angel numbers. There's an app Doreen Virtue has that's Angel Numbers 101 that you can get on your phone and it can tell you what the meaning of that is. But this is really about just knowing that you are surrounded by heavenly love and you help and you always have help. You're never alone, right? And that relates again to your finances and to your career. And then Archangel Raguel is coming through and this is the relationship harmony card. And so I feel like those of you that have a, a partnership in some way, shape or form, with uh, your, you know, related to your career. So this could be a business partner. It could also be a referral partner, that type of thing. So if you're in business by yourself, it could be a referral partner. And it's really um, about opening the hearts of everyone involved so that you can see um, eye to eye on things. And they're encouraging me now to share with you the figure eight technique. I don't know if I've done this with you guys before, but it's a way to connect with someone like before you actually talk with them on the phone or before you meet with them in person. And Donna Eden is, I think she's the one that developed this, but she probably has some videos on YouTube about it as well. But essentially what you do is you're just making a figure eight and it's sort of laying on its side. And so I'll kind of show you the sideways view of it. You're making this figure eight, right, like this, except you're going out to the other person and back to you, out to the other person and back to you, right? Out to them, back to you, out to them, back to you. And you can do this when you're on the phone. You can just make that motion and you, the, with the intention that you're connecting with their energy. And, of course, if they don't want to connect with you, if they're that blocked, they won't. But for the most part, people are open to it. And then they end up just, you see eye to eye, and they get that connection and more of that harmony going. All right. So let's move on to the health portion. So this is uh, your aspects, Virgo, for health, for your health for the month of July 2016. So I don't know. You guys probably won't hear it because 
my microphone is here, but you might. Uh, it is, when I'm filming this, we, I'm in the United States, and it is 4th of July weekend. It's actually Sunday night, and our neighborhood seems to, like, for four days now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they'll do it again tomorrow night, probably, uh, shoot off a lot of fireworks. Uh, that's part of the 4th of July celebration here in the U.S. So if you hear kind of this bang, bang, you know, that kind of maybe almost sounds like shotguns. It's not. It's actually fireworks. And I feel a little bit bad for the little pups around the neighborhood that might not be so happy about that, um, that noise that they're seeing. But all right, so related to your health, we have, and you'll notice I always turn the cards right. I don't read upside down cards. I get information if there's something, you know, um, shifted about this this card or, or um, you know, the aspects of it. I'll get that information so I don't read the reverse cards. Uh, this is Forgiveness Heals. And Archangel Raphael, this is Raphael's deck, and this is really... Letting you know that it's important for you to forgive uh, because it affects not the other person one, way, one iota, it affects you. So if there's somebody that you haven't forgiven, it's really important that you go through that process and actually forgive them. And so uh, that's, that is something that I work with my clients on as well. And of course, there's a lot of different processes that you can use to do the forgiveness. But it's really important at this point in time to allow you to move forward. As I said, it's not about them. It has nothing to do with them. But you need to get those emotions out so that you can move forward and move on. And then we have the Un Unconditional Joy card. And this is really about finding just that... Um, that joy and that, that bliss in just the tiny things in life. And so this is um, just wanting you again. So sort of your theme, Virgo, for July is about gratitude, I feel like. That's a big piece of it that keeps coming up now in a couple different ways. And, uh, and so this is really about having that gratitude and appreciating everything that you have in your life and in particular appreciating your health and so you know one thing you can do is let's say you have you know one foot that hurts focus on the one that doesn't hurt the one that feels good and be like oh wow I'm so glad this foot feels good I'm so glad this foot feels good I'm glad the rest of my body's in really good shape I'm glad I feel you know healthy and fit right so appreciate what you can about your about your health even if you have a few little things that are need a little bit tweaking and then Archangel Raphael wants you to call upon him for help and so this is uh, again you know Raphael coming in to say that uh, he is there to and available to help you with any health issues that you might have this month so part of what's happening for a lot of us, we are really spiritually growing fast at this point in time, and our bodies are trying to catch up. And so I know this has been happening with me. I've got this whole, I don't know, belly bloat kind of thing going on, and it's the information from my guides that came through was that uh, I'm shifting and changing so fast because I'm actually in the middle of a spirit-led mastery course. And so I'm, I'm shifting and changing and my body's trying to keep up with that, right? And so they assured me that it will settle down. But just, just know that uh, you can ask Archangel Raphael for help with any health aspects or issues that you have right now. Okay. And then we have the relationship aspects for the month of July, 2016. In this deck, I love this deck too. This is Messages from Your Angels. Again, another Doreen Virtue deck. And it um, really is just, um, there's, I call them like kind of goofy angels, but they're, it's weird hair. Okay, this is really bothering me. Okay, <laughs> like this weird hair that's like hanging right in front of my face. Okay. So these are kind of what I call kind of the goofy angels, but they're just different angels that you maybe haven't heard of before in some, some respects. Uh, some of them you will have, and of course Raphael's coming through again, so that, that's, he's letting us know. But this is Angel Fiona, uh, and this is really letting you know that now that you've asked for help, it's time to sort of, you know, open your arms to receive it and to be in more of that feminine energy around receiving because the masculine energy is slowly sifting away. 
And the energy now is more about the feminine and being in receivership mode, letting things come to you versus you trying to pursue them, right? And that's um, pursuing, pushing, pulling. That's more masculine energy. And what Fiona wants you to do is bring in more of the feminine energy about the receiving. And so that's what she's encouraging you to do. And then Archangel Raphael is coming through and related to... Um, Okay, sorry, I need to back up. And they were like, wait, I, they have more information. So related to relationships, uh, what they're wanting you to do is practice saying yes. And so particularly, well, men and women, but particularly for women, we oftentimes just have this superwoman thing going on. And it's like we can handle it ourselves, we can do it ourselves, but that doesn't allow our men to be men. It doesn't allow our men to be the kings for us that we really in our hearts desire them to be. And so really letting them take care of you, letting them do things for you, right? Asking for their help, right, is that sort of receivership. So just even when you're carrying stuff out and someone says, oh, you know, I can, can I help you with that? Yes, that would be great. Get, get in the habit of saying yes, that would be great. Um, just to get more in the habit of that receivership mode and relationships. And then that too, then you are in a, a space of being able to receive and uh, connect with the people. So too, here's the other thing about gifts I just want to mention. So lots of times when people get a gift, they're like, oh, you shouldn't have, right? Don't say that. That really kind of steals the joy of the person that was giving it to you. So saying, thank you, this is awesome, thank you so much, then you're like honoring that gift that they gave you. And it's, uh, it's important to do that. Okay, so then Archangel Raphael is coming through, and he is coming through around physical challenges, wanting to help with any physical challenges with your relationship. So, um, well, sometimes the angels... Like, honestly, I, so what's coming through around this is around um, physical aspects of having sex that maybe some of you are having some difficulties with that, that piece of things, things not functioning properly, that type of thing. And so Archangel Raphael is coming in to let you know that he would like to help with that. Uh, so this is just, it's always craziness. When I'm doing these readings and they're giving me information, I'm like, oh, really? Like, I have to say that? Um, but yeah, so he's helping with the physical challenges and, and wants to also let you know that you're a healer. And so that can be, um, that can be part of your own, uh, your own journey in being able to heal yourself and others in the, in the physical aspects of the relationship. Okay. And then, um, Angel Azure is coming through, and this is really a positive card regarding relationship for sure. And Angel Azure is letting you know that this, um, the outcome that you want, uh, the, the sort of the feeling, not necessarily specifically how you want it to happen, but that feeling that you want is on its way. It's going to, it's going to be coming through quite soon. And so part of what you need to do, again, is don't force it. Don't use that masculine energy to force it or to, to push or pressure or prod because that's just going to delay it. It's like, a, it's like pushing it away. It's repelling it. If you, if you use that type of energy, that repels it. Uh, so for those of you women that are a little bit impatient about your relationship and wondering, you know, it's going to the next level or whatever, just be patient, okay? Uh, and just let, let things naturally occur around that. Okay, so we've got some extra cards that we are going to take a look at here. All right, just slide those up. Okay, so we've got the nine of water. And of course, I love any card that has a nine in it because nine is about reaching new heights. And it is about abundance. It's a lucky number in feng shui. It's also about health. And the nine of water is... Emotion, water cards are all about emotion, sort of that depth of emotion. And this card is about your wishes coming true. So again, we have sort of that confirmation from Azure. And then also with this nine of water about your wishes coming through. And that really the things you're worried about are just going to kind of fade into the background. And you are going to be in a space where you just are really enjoying your life. And that's what I'm seeing for, um, for July. Things are going to 
it looks like going to at least get started in the right direction so you're going to be seeing that things are improving for you and then we've got Archangel Camuel and this is the peace card and uh, I you know that's one one thing that is a very high value for me personally is peace and I think part of this stems from the fact that I, I was in a marriage where we didn't have that sort of peace and calm. And so when I got out of the marriage quite a few years ago, I just, that was my main thing is I just want peace and calm, right? I just want peace and calm. And so that is um, just what Cameo is coming through and letting you know is, of course, that peace is always within you. And you can also, the other piece of this is remembering, um, so that wasn't a very good use of words there, right? Peace and peace. Uh, so the other, the other part of this, I'm going to say rather than peace, the other part of this comes from remembering that, you know, in the relationships that you're going through and different things that are happening for you, and in particular with your money, the only thing that's real is love. So the rest of that is just, you know, kind of smoke and mirrors type of thing. It's not really real. Okay. All right. And I have no idea about my, it, my nose is itching. So either someone's thinking about me or I don't know. Do you ever get, you hear the old wives tale that somebody is thinking about you, then your nose is like itching, right? Um, so anyway, whoever it is, can you give me a break while I'm doing the reading? Anyway. Okay. And then you guys need to be drinking some more water. Really, uh, especially, you know, those of you in the, the Western world where we have summer now, it's really important to stay hydrated and to drink half your body weight in water is the recommendation. And water is water, not tea, not coffee, not pop, um, not other stuff. Water, actual clean, clear water. So drinking plenty of water. And especially if you're shifting, if you're if you're growing spiritually and all of that, there's a lot to be said for continuing to keep the hydration so you can rinse through what you're letting go of, right? And we're coming up on a new moon that's coming up actually tomorrow here in the States, July 4th. I can't remember what time it's at, but we have the, the new moon, which is about shedding and letting go of things that no longer serve us, right? Um, so that's coming through. And then we have Akasha uh, coming through. So this is really letting you know that you are a spiritual teacher. That is part of your purpose. That's part of what you come here to do. And that um, you do have just a knack or a way of being able to talk to people about what's going on with them and help them give, help give them perspective, right? And this is... Um, part of your divine life mission. So if you're not currently doing something related to that, you know, whether it's volunteering or you're doing that within the work that you do, I would highly encourage you to sort of open yourself to that possibility and that, uh, that sort of um, connection that is coming through. So that's what we have, Virgo, for the month of July 2016. I will see you again next month. And, oh, I, forgot, I almost forgot to tell you, I have a special going on right now for readings. So any reading with me, um, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, I think I have it. I think I have it just for the 30 and 60 minute, but you can get 15% off any reading with me and just use the code SUMMER when you go into book. And there's a booking link right below here. There's also on my website, findingyourfiji.com, on the top right hand corner, there's a booking link. It's a schedule now or schedule here, and you can book through that way. I do uh, record the readings, so it's um, via Zoom if you are out of the country. I've been having some success with Zoom. And then if you are local in the, the United States, then we will I will record it through my conference line. So it's kind of nice to get a recording. You get my Archangel Insight Guide and all kinds of goodies. So that's what we have for you, Virgo. Uh, the angels want to encourage you to relax. Have fun and enjoy your life. Much love.